Hello, all of my possum and gentle creatures out there. Welcome back to bread. 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 Bread and breakfast. <laughs> Bed. Bear. Bear and breakfast. Oh my goodness. I feel like that's going to be a thing that happens. Okay. So, we gotta go back to the thicket because mom's waiting on us. We've been gone a couple days. Uh, six to be in fact. We are, well, maybe not six days exactly, but we have definitely been gone for a few days. Goodness gracious. Are you all right? Did something happen? I'm okay, Mom. Nothing happened. All right, good. What was in that thick head of yours? And you? I didn't even say anything. You put him up to this again, didn't you? No, Mom. Will didn't do anything. We weren't even gone that long. It's been days! <laughs> Humans are coming back. And another thing. They're what? And we're helping. I see. Well, I don't suppose anything's wrong with that. We're gonna get more to visit, and they'll bring money and trash, and we'll get to learn all about them, and... And I get to make stuff for them! Me! Tony taught me how to build a bed, and... I haven't heard from him in ages. Well, I suppose there's nothing I could do to keep you around anyway. Don't say that, Mom. I'm not going anywhere. I just... It feels nice to do something out there for a change, something helpful. I know it does, dear. For now, at least, you're, you're all probably exhausted. You should go rest. Yeah, we gotta check on our humans. <gasps> we got the trucker cap. Awesome. All right, dear. At least don't forget your hat next time in case it rains. Now, get some rest. this oh don't get up from me i can see fine just fine from here what let's just say you made the right impression to the right people pal that's not true i did no such thing relax it's a good thing it is the oversized rat did say a size don't doesn't scale everywhere listen you made quite an impact on my trash talking associate which is rare in case you feel like keeping that up, the way to the old road's been cleared. If you happen to make your way down there, come find me at the dump. Why would I do that? Because I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Mm. Or, I don't know, I guess you could refuse it, but it's a pretty good offer. Do what you want, I don't care. New routes unlocked. Uh towards A24. Awesome. That was weird. I gave him kind of like the uh, the accent of the guy of the the uncle from um uh, gas station simulator. But I feel like he's more of a mom rat. Mouse. Mom mouse. Um but oh well, I'm sticking with the uh, with the the voice of the uncle from Gas Station Sim. Oh. Let's head over and see how um, our place is doing. First, first and foremost, we have to check in on our our bed and breakfast. You could be a nice table. Oh, who's there? Why, this is quite unexpected. Why, well, you're a big fella, aren't you? You don't seem very frightening. Mm -hmm. That's all right. You're not the first critter I met around these parts. Don't be afraid. Who are you? Questioning bear noises. 
Well, it's quite nice to meet you too, dear. I'm Barbara. I've been the keeper of these woods ever since I could tell a Joppy Jeffrey from a blue shag. Do you know where you are? I've lived here all my life. Bear noises. Oh, of course you don't. Oh, you're not from around here. I would have known. Well, we're in Timber Crossing, one of the largest lumber hubs of this side of the valley. Or, well, it used to be. Barely a soul sets foot in this place anymore. Although, lately I've noticed quite a few more souls than usual. Almost like something's drawing people back. And then, I couldn't help but see what a wonderful little shed we got. Did you have a hand in that? I built it with my own two paws. Confident bear noises. I never thought I'd see another person visit our little valley, let alone tourists. I have to say, that was quite the accomplishment to do on your own. Hope I'll see more of your handiwork soon. Okay. Goodbye, Barbara. I'm gonna try and keep consistency with their voices, but might not always pan out the way that I want it to. Um, let us, let us, let us, leap. Um, I want to move this to there. Move this window to there. This window to like there. That over to there. What do I have in my inventory? <gasps> we can put on our hat. Um, we gotta put the welcome mat there. Oh, this is a, a little, a little ruggy. Um, old drawers that can go there. The nightstand goes there. We'll put that there, and the small plant right there, and the little bear painting right there in that room. All right, that was everything we got last time. Um, let's um, let us craft a bed, and now let's build a room. We're gonna do that. We're gonna move this over to there. Uh, we're gonna put that bed there. We're going to make another bed. We're gonna build a room, a bedroom. Oops. No, wait. Remove. Okay, there we go. Bedroom. Um. Now we're gonna build another bedroom. Oh, I don't have enough money for that one. Never mind. Uh, yes. The fourth bedroom is going to have to wait. No, I'm sorry. My inventory. Um, we're going to move that bed that way. And actually, we're going to move that bed that way. Just so we have a little variety going on in the rooms. Um, let's, before we start booking up rooms, let's go over to, um, our trash boy over here. Um. Let's get that nightstand. Let's get that rug. Um. Get the little book cabinet. Let's see. Um. Okay, that's all we can get right now. Whoa. Whoa. Damn. Okay. 
Let's, uh, let's collect some things. From right there. Um, it doesn't really matter, um, when we actually, like, finish the rooms today. So long as we do it before nighttime. Because, like, we can still book the rooms and then in the morning is when they're going to come. So... Got some piles. Uh, rock and rubble. We got porcelain chunk and stone bricks. More stone bricks. Here is the, uh, the rat father, I think. And look at all this trash. Some of the trash, you can't even like really tell that it's like actually uh, trash. Claire. Not there either. He either skipped town again or is lining a, lining a ditch somewhere. That boy couldn't tell his tail hole from his mouth hole. But he wouldn't bail. Not on us. Uh-oh. 10 o'clock, chief. What a surprise. Our hefty entrepreneur. Is there a problem, boss? No. Not yet, anyway. How'd you find the trip, Hank? I don't think I told you my name. You didn't have to. I knew it before your mother did. I don't think she knew, sir. Mom didn't name me. <laughs> the air really is thinner up there, ain't it? Sure is. I didn't catch your name. That's cause I don't throw it around. It's on a need to know basis. Need to know basis. Well, I kinda need to know. You won't get far with that attitude, kid. Anyways, I'm Anton. I run the place. What place? Huh? What place? This place. Everything this, the stench touches. Listen, you haven't earned all of these questions yet. My collaborator up north says you're up to something good bringing people back up in the valley. That's good news for everyone, but we got a problem. One of my crew went missing three nights ago. Claire will fill you in. We lost Wade at approximately 9 p.m. near the Black Moss border. We were out doing our scavenger run scavenge runs. I was negotiating a particularly heavy piece of scrap. Ten seconds later, I turned around, and there was no Wade. Just the low hiss of the swamp. You have any idea what happened to him? No, but you will. I'll make you a deal. You need me and my dump to get your little venture up and running. Otherwise, she'll run. you'll run around for scraps and die of old age before your first customer sets foot in the place. I'll let you keep any scrap you find he in here if you get us weighed back. We suspect he's somewhere in Black Moss. That's where I'd check first. I wouldn't be sitting around if I were you. Okay, we gotta go uh, to Black Moss from the A24. Which it is pointing me. Ooh, scrap. Copper, iron. I'll take it. Which is right here. So this is the other side of Black Moss Charcoal Lily, a rare dark fire that only grows in certain places um, that we couldn't get to. So I'm sure that we can uh, find the uh, washing machine and actually get to it from this side. Ooh, there's a house. I'm assuming that's where Wade is. Oh, yep. I see a tiny little thing right there. <laughs> I 
hello? Oh, not this again. I swear on my tail. What happened this time? Stuck a hand down the drain pipe? Bad mushrooms? Heard a noise coming from the trees? Oh no, I was just looking. Because I hate to break it to you. All trees make noise. Pretty much all they do. And they sure as heck ain't doing it for you. I'm sorry to bother you, ma'am. I'm just looking for a friend. A friend? Here? Happy hour ain't what it used to be. He's pretty small. I think he got lost. I'm worried something happened to him. Small? How small are we talking? Because small things don't last a lot of time around here. Unless you mean shelf life. Oh gosh, no. It's a rat. Same as Wade. Oh, crickets. Someone came looking for that thing? You should be paying me rent. Yeah, I know where your weight is. Unfortunately. Come inside. Eh, inside? Oh, don't go all brave on me. You're too big for my cauldron anyways. I'm sorry, was she going to cook him? Oh, here we go. And then, just before the tire hit, Boss pulled up his cane and smacked it out of the way. Oh, golly. Then what happened? We got the piece and scrammed. Wow. What was it like? The thing... Oh, you mean the little old artifact yours truly sniffed out in less than an hour? Only just about the rustiest, uh, cataclysmic comforter you ever seen. Whoa. It stank, too. Real bad. I think a cockroach lived in it before he found it. Whoa. Twig, what did I say about liaison with the criminal? Criminal? Where? Yes, um, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Besides, we have a guest. Rather unusual one at that. Wade? Are you Wade? Hello. I mean, no. I'm not. Oh, yes, he is. Faster and noisy pests can't keep his tail out of other people's business. I was prepping him for Picklin, if you need to know. His tiny bones make for great feather holders. No, you are not. You just said you didn't know how to get rid of him. Shush, child. Who wants to know? I'm on a mission to get you back to the dump. Your boss is worried sick. You talk to Mr. A? Well, more like slightly preoccupied. Can't believe he sent someone after me. Yeah, told me to bring you back and he let me use the dump so I can get more humans in the valley. He never lets any outsiders in the dump. He must be something special, mister. Well, let's not get too hazy, Mr. Special. This rat ain't, isn't leaving this place just like that. But she just said you wanted him gone. Of course I do, but now you want to take him. Well, there's value of circumstance. I ran out of charcoal lilies for my pickle juice. You won't find him anywhere else but black moss. The fireplace, like, just all of a sudden going on threw me off. Or maybe it was a bird brain of A24 that has some for sale. He just gets them here anyways. Ipswich Wholesale has new items available. Awesome. Bring me back a few and I'll see about jailbreaking your newfound friend. We found some. Oh, we do have enough. Got what I asked for? A dozen lilies, like you said. One, two. Ah, uh, yeah, looks right. Good. Better have been worth your time. Because next time, you're taking him back in a jar. And paying double. Thanks for helping us out, mister. Miss Charlotte can't bend after the lilies like she used to. Just child. Why am I so zoomed in? Charlotte, the half-tailed alligator, struck Hank as someone who was good at trying to be scary. But didn't always stick the landing as evidenced by Twiggy, her tadpole buddy, who, by their mere tiny presence, debunked any worry that Charlotte would actually try to fit Hank in her big bo boiling cauldron. But that's the hope, at least. Just child. All right, Pipsqueak. Yes, ma'am. Scram. Yes, ma'am. Thanks. Saving Private Wade. I didn't even notice that. Come on, Wade. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, no, wait. That's not Wade. 
and swingy. Oh god, I can't. I can't see a thing. Stepping one foot outside this stinking dump. Not one foot. Yes, ma'am. For a month. Yes, ma'am. The first rule of garbageology is the cream always rises to the top. So make sure you dig down deep. Claire obviously Claire's obviously the right hand of the operation. Her skill at finding the best stuff is only matched by her loyalty to the old rat. Anton, the boss, seems like a real... But I guess you gotta be in his line of business. Wade would be closer to the left hand of the sting, useful in limited capacity and only under strict supervision. At least according to Anton. Oh! What a strange bunch. I always said I've had enough of them. Then I remember the advantages to having an extra paw pair of paws on hand. Like for sending out on a wild goose chases? Exactly. You're welcome. Don't flatter yourself too much. You did what you were told. But I suppose there's another end to this bargain. We always keep our word. Yay! We can get into the dump. But first, we sleep on Anton's floor. <laughs> Hopefully he didn't mind. Okay. I didn't think that it was gonna take us that long, but that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Let's grab all of the garbage. Looks like a good place to... You know something, it's better I didn't finish that sentence. Okay, let's, let's grab the scraps that we need. of this place. What do we got? Gas pump, steel plate, electronics, copper, and plastic board. I don't have enough plastic. I don't even know where I was getting plastic from. Probably from the, the dump. I got the best deals anywhere. It's something I heard a guy say once. Okay, so he sells wood, which is fuel, and charcoal lilies. We got a bus station here, but we need a bus sign. Tony's Construction Service, no available instructions. Okay. I'm assuming that we can make these places into uh, bed and breakfasts, just not at the moment.
I'm gonna set up a crafting table here. Might as well, even though we can't do anything with it just yet. Because we can't do anything with these buildings yet. But we better clean them up while we're here. Get all the trash that they're, they've accumulated. the boy hello boy never walk into a room and forget why you went in there been feeling that since the day I was born this is Gus he is a possum this is us <laughs> never walk into a room and forget why you went in there yep all right he's just gonna say the same thing look at him I love him I mean I love all possums but how can I not love him? You got Barbara over here. Left foot, right foot. Just keep going. Your bones can't ache if you don't have time to think about it. Oh. Took's garbage is also here. Ooh, we got the another thing of plastic that we need. I don't like hearing the snake noises. <gasps> There's a chest, guys. There's a chest. <gasps> we got a possum clock for free. Heck yeah. So let's, I guess, head on back to the shed for now. Let's build it up. Make it bigger, make it better. Okay, inventory. We got book cabinet. We got a rug. We got an oak wood nightstand. We got a possum clock. Um, I guess that was it that we had. But um, let's go over to uh, Tuck's garbage and grab some more decor. Okay, um... <clears throat> Alright, we got a simple floor mirror. Uh, a wood shelf. Uh, let's get a lamp, a potted plant, um, a jukebox, scented sticks, and I think that should be good for now. Alert! Alert! It looks like your premium property is lacking in the old P department. Hey, I don't... Prestige! Wow. That means that the decoration levels of your property aren't up to our low, low standards. It is ugly. But it looks just like my room. 
In order to attract more lucrative guests, just make your properties more appealing by adding non-essential ornamental furniture and knickknacks. Guests go crazy for knickknacks. What an uncomfortable sentence. Raise the property prestige level to satisfy degree before returning. Property prestige is the principal proof of a prominent plot. It looks a little better now, I think. Congratulations! You've increased your new property value by a quarter of a percent. That is 278 more percent more than our guests receive on their average trip. More prestigious properties will earn better results. So keep up the work. Congratulations, it seems that your first property is coming along nicely. Now that you are earning the equivalent tips of a door-to-door -door, door salesman, you are presented with an opportunity. In order to achieve the prestigious pawn voyage pedigree, you are to bring the property in this area up to our standards um prestige is sum of all decoration scores across the resort all right um no that's not what i wanted i wanted to go to our inventory because i i will i will read this just uh hang on Okay, so we'll put the jukebox there, I guess, for now. We'll put... Hang on. I know when I set that down, it says that it has a little thing. So why is it not letting me... Is it because the windows are... Cannot place here, it collides with oak wood nightstand. But this has to go on a thing. <coughs> okay, whatever. Oh my goodness. I have like such a tickle in the back of my throat right now. Um, okay, let's put that there. Put that there. It still won't let me do that. Huh. Okay. Well, now that we've put all of that stuff out, <coughs> now All right. So, Rosemary wants eight for decoration and it says this guest expects a higher than average decoration score during their stay so if she wants an eight let's give her an 11. and morris also wants that but we don't have a bedroom right now with that so hang on why don't we why don't we put the jukebox in this bedroom whoops let's see if i put that in that bedroom so then i go because she's staying in one morris wants that and then bedroom three has 12. so let's put him there and then we can put her in there And we can sleep for the night. All right, your resort's prestige score can be found in the resort overview panel. Increase prestige by increasing the amount of decoration in your cabin. 
Most objects have a decoration score either positive or negative. Okay. So here come our guests. They are all happy. They all love their rooms, which is great. Okay. Um, so let us come over here. We have 112 valuables. Um, so let's get this small potted plant. Let's get this large snake plant. Um, let's get this modest towel rack. This hand painted drawers. Let's get a floor lamp for the other room, the, the third room. And then um, the rest I want to spend on, so let's get a nightstand, um, a table lamp, uh, a rug. A flower vase, a rounded landscape painting, and I think that should do it. Because we're getting those extra things for tomorrow when we can put in a fourth bedroom. I don't mean to scare you guys. I am terribly sorry about that. Um, okay, so. Uh, the floor lamp is for here. Um... I'll rotate that that way. I'll put a towel rack there. I'll put that potted plant there. And then we'll put the big snake plant there for right now. Okay. Because we don't have, yeah, we still have only 45 coins. I wish I could talk with them. And just be like, I am friendly. No need to be scared. I'm good. Okay, so we need a bus sign. Oh wait, I don't have the money. Dang it. All right, I guess we're just gonna have to go around um, grabbing things. Let's go to the, um, the dump. See if there's any more trash that we can go uh, digging for. Oh, 
Okay. There are still two piles there, and there's an electronics pile up here that I missed, apparently. Oh, I just saw we got a thing of plastic in that one. Okay, last two piles. We cannot get through to this yet. Because we need prospector gear. And I don't know where or how to get that. the modern tourist on the road plus one extra guest request per day in this area okay and we need to fix this up as soon as we can that way we don't have to walk back and forth Mainly, that is the reason that we want to fix that up. And we still only have these three crafting recipes. Which I think is weird. I feel like we should have more. trash right there and I can't even get it right now because they're sleeping in the room. So if I'm not mistaken, Pinefall, which is this way, is what was in the, the demo. That's where uh the demo took place? So, I can't wait to go there and see if it's like the same or like what they changed so then... Um... Like the demo didn't spoil things... Okay. Well, there isn't much else for us to do, but we we still can't sleep yet. So, I'm gonna... Mm. Actually, hang on. I wanna... Yeah. I know normally you want the welcome mat, like, right by the door, but... I wanna be able to see the welcome mat, so... But, um, I'm going to wait until, uh, I can sleep, and we'll skip ahead to the next day. Okay. Boop. I think he's going. I think these two are two nights, but I think he's leaving. No? Are they all two night stays? So, I'm 
be honest, I'm not quite sure what to do right now while we wait for the, like, for them to leave. Because we're kind of waiting on money. We have, like, all the resources we need right now to make things. Why don't we go back into here? Back into Black Moss. And back to the thicket. Read what it says. Odd looking fella. He strikes me as real leave the gun, take the cannoli kind of guy. My goodness. I hope I still found something good today. Ah! I see you're running low on pocket money. Oh, my little baby, I knew this day would finally come. The day I would feel useful as a parent again. Well, I can't help you out. Well, I can help you out. But you have to promise to be more careful next time, all right? Here you go, honey. Wait, did she just give us money? <gasps> we have 145. Oh my god, it is so good that we just came home. Thanks, Mom. Now we can make that fourth bedroom. Went the wrong way. I always forget this path is just like a straight line across. I like wanna go like through the swamp, but I can't. Okay. So now, crafting. Make a bed. Building. Comfort. Bedroom. Bedroom. Boom. We gotta move you. Um. Bed. Bed go there side table lamp book cabinet flower vase rug painting um anything else we can put in there hmm I mean, I guess for right now, that can just go in there. Why not? Really? Okay. So now, we have a fourth bedroom. A people gonna stay at. And it's got a plus 13. Um... Let's go with Sadie. And then, yeah. Well, wait. So, no, it's not what I want. Guest request. Wait. Okay. No, that's not the same person. It's just the same thing. Um. Okay. So, accept. Assign. Accept. Assign. Set assigned. Okay. So now we'll go also be all set for tomorrow for our guests. Um I wanna 
I want to finish at um like tomorrow morning when we finish up the next quest for this guy. I really wish that we had more stuff, but we don't. I mean, we could get the wooden footrest recipe. There we go. Let's see what it takes to make that. Um, plywood plank and nails. Okay. Well, we made one. We'll put that there. But I did see a piece of trash. Oh crap, I can't get in there. My my bear body's too big. I can't get in that little, that little square. Okay, let's put that back there for now. I used, yep, I used all of my money. Okay. How much do we need for this stuff? So, he's selling loggers tools for 100 and bus signs for 200. Okay. Which, we should definitely have more than enough. Oh, there goes Tug. All right. It looks like the property in this area isn't up to par yet. Come back later when a standard, any standard, is achieved. Okay. Uh, let's go to Sawdust. might have been something, but I guess not. Also, I, I didn't say this last time, and I really feel like I should have, but I, I only thought it. I didn't say it. This? Definitely our dad. Like, actual. It's just me, your local wood Samaritan. Like, 100% in my mind, without a doubt, that is our dad. <laughs> okay. Too thick it. You can get to the thicket from here. Oh. Good thing we got unlocking tools. Path is clear. Oh, gee. Mom? I see you're running low on pocket money. Oh, my little baby. Wait, did she give us more money? <gasps> she did! We now have 105. So, I guess we can just come back to mom whenever we're, like, really low on money. And she's just like, oh, my baby boy. I don't know why it always 
when I come in here, I don't have my hands on the keys, but it keeps, like, moving me down that way. But I'm pretty sure it's only in here that it's been doing that. Also, it is like, it is definitely nighttime in the game. Why can't I sleep? <laughs> is it cause like the beginning where like, they were like, oh, I think too much. I can't sleep. Like, is that why we can't sleep until late at night? Because, like, I really just want to sleep right now. Oh, wait, I can't even get the thing that I want. All right. Um, I guess now that I'm got the the trash, I guess let's put that there. I'll just put that there for now, I guess, because it's not like I can put it anywhere on anything useful, <laughs> really. Can I sleep yet? Please. I just want to sleep. Okay. Guests are leaving. Guests are arriving. And we now have over a thousand coins heck yeah okay let's go talk to a uh, sharky boy over here always make sure your property is up to pawn voyages uncompromising standards my standards are uncompromising are as uncompromising as they get congratulations you've met the absolute bare minimum requirements to be to being a halfway decent service provider. The world is at your fingertips. Who knows? In a year or 10, you might be on your way to the minimum tax bracket. But enough talk about the bleak future. Let's talk about a bright one. Your next venture with Pawn Voyage. Remember, when you want to add a new premium property to the pawn network, find your local pawn shark and press the green button. Oh, that's what we got to do over in the other place. Welcome to Pawn Voyage Leadership and Advancement Programmee. You can now further improve this establishment. Su successfully doing so will increase guest expectations for this location, also increasing payout and bragging rights. In order to improve this uh, premise, you must now successfully complete the following task. Complete this day for another plus two guests in Timber Crossing. Reward a cool new pair of pants. Would you like to accept this job? Yes. Task in progress. Please return once the job is complete. Okay. Uh, management quest. Finn leaves behind construction uh, placards in every area. These placards have optional building and management quests for each resort. Each will award you with extra money or special collectibles. Um, upon completion, new guests will demand better accommodations, but also pay more for their stay. Okay. So, now that we have money, honeys, let us grab... A bus sign. And we used our toolboxes, so let's grab one of those as well, just in case we need one. I don't think that we do, but just in case. Let's go down here. We will um, fix up the bus stop.
Wait, did I go past the bus stop? Why do I feel like I went past the bus stop? Where's the bus stop? No, I didn't. Where's the bus stop? Oh, it's way down there. Okay. I felt like I, it was like too long of a walk for some reason. Okay, confirm. New bus station is now available. You can now fast travel here. Okay, so Pond Voyage should be down here. Yeah, there he is. Hello, Finn. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Hello again. Be part of the next exciting experience. Enticing escape. Electrifying enterprise. Yes, you've said that. I'm already part of one. Welcome to the arid plains. The desiccated desert. We're sitting in a parking lot. The wild wasteland. I can't believe I'm following a fish suit around. The A24 is the main artery of the valley. When guitars hum the tunes of old country roads, this is the one they sing about. And this brand new premium uh, habitation facility is the first and only stop for the brave explorer on the run. An oasis in an otherwise barren realm. There's literally a shop across the road. Make no mistake, adventurers can't be expected to live off a tent and trail mix. They require the best amenities, which is the perfect point of expansion for your now chain of premium properties. I'm sensing a lot of cleanup work. You should always trust your senses. Check the sign next to the motel to start repairing it. Which one's the motel? This one? Tony's Construction Service. Welcome to the roadside motel. Would you like to repair it? Yep. Step one, clear out any debris and garbage inside the structure. Okay, we did that. Is the structure clear of any debris or garbage? Yep. Good job. This is not a step. Just thought I'd let you know. You did a good job. Gather construction materials needed to repair the structure. In this case, pine wood planks, iron nails, and stone. Have all the materials been acquired? Yep. They're all there. Get your butt to work. Whoa, what? I'm doing it? Watering hole. Oh, it's done. Okay. All right, so now we can... <gasps> we can make a bathroom. And we can make a... We can make a distillery, guys. Excuse me? We gonna make a bar? I don't have those things. For now, let's make a bedroom. We'll make a bedroom right here. We'll put the door there. Um, crap, no, never mind. Create the room. Crafting. Bed. Foot rest. Front desk. Okay. Um, the bed can go here. Foot rest. Can go there. Our front desk for right now can just go there, I guess. For lack of a better place to put it at the moment. Um Do we have any more? No, we don't at the moment. Okay. Hello. How's the construction site going? It's ready. A 
astounding. You're on your way to become the biggest hospitality developer on this side of the canyon. You are currently in position one out of one. Hey, that's not bad. It is certainly something. As a leisure expert, I'm sure that your senses are now precisely tuned to the next step in this possibly yet not probable, probably profitable operation. Trick the humans to come over? Trick the humans to come over. I mean, offer a valued customer a room for lodging, which I did. Is this thing broken? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Build a bedroom and book it to a guest. Oh, Gus, 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 Hi. In the middle of the desert, in a rundown metal shack, lived Gus, the most handsome possum in A24. You are darn skippy, right? He is. Look at that possum. I love him. Seemed like digging through junk was the main activity around here, and he was no rookie. Although, by the looks of it, Gus's primary concern remained his charm and driving wheel. Hi. Oh. Hello. Mm-hmm. I'm Hank. Okay. Who are you? Gus. Nice to meet you, Gus. Yes, it is. Mm. What do you do, Gus? Not much. You don't seem to talk a lot either, Gus. Don't need to. That's fair. Well, just want to introduce myself. Not exactly putting your best foot forward there. But I've only got the two. Better start diversifying then. I think you're being a little rude. You're right. You're actually perfect. Thank you. Mm. What's with all the people? Actually, I might have, have a hand in that. Good. They got the best food and baubles. And they scare easily. A jerk stream. You don't seem like a jerk to me. Hey, watch your mouth, buddy. We don't take kindly to those types of words. Anyways, they used to roam all over the place. Reminded me of chickens. Stinky, floating around, afraid of their own shadow, only stopping for the occasional turd. Living the dream, really. Well, you might start seeing more of them again. Don't bother me none. As long as they don't stink up the place. Maybe don't burn down the joint again. All they left last time was a squirt sandwich and half a toilet. Fire almost caught my little driving wheel, too. I love my little wheel. Worst part is, sandwich turned out to be a stinking leather book. Ask me how I know. How do you know? You're not really playing with a full deck, are you? I don't really like gambling. Lad, you got nice thick skin on you. That, or you're thick as gravy. Either way, I respect it. Thanks, I like your skin too, I think. Hey, what did I say about saying stuff like that? We don't do that around here. So, what's a cheeky boy like you creeping around people for? I'm not creeping, I'm helping. Right, right, so making some extra beans on the side. Getting kick out of scaring little mustaches off. I think they're pretty neat, and I like the building part. And my buddy Will isn't too upset about the money. Bah. What are you gonna use it for? Buying food? Ha ha! How come you live out here in the middle of nowhere? I prefer it that way. Just me, my deadly little self and I. I get it, you seem pretty cool to hang out with. All right, enough. More word like that and I'm done with you. <gasps> we gotta give him a compliment. Are you done with your nonsense? Actually, underneath that grubby exterior, I think you're really secretly nice. What is your problem exactly? I told you not to say things like that. I'm actually the biggest jerk you've ever met. And you're probably the biggest one I've ever met. Okay then. <laughs> All right, let's grab that. No ma, I'm at work. Yes ma. Got the package you sent. No, Ma. When am I gonna eat that many sausages? Listen, Ma, I gotta go. I'm working. Yes, Ma. Love you, too. <laughs> okay, so we built the bedroom. Now we just gotta book a guest here. Details. Okay, so plus seven comfort, plus four decorations. We have no guest request. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. 
Okay, let's, uh, let's sleep for the night, I guess. Maybe someone will want to come here. Now. Yeah. Um. They all want a bathroom, but I don't have stuff for bathroom. How do I get stuff for bathroom? Um, I guess let's head back to Timber Crossing for now. We can check out our fancy pants that we're getting. Whoa, sorry. I did not mean to scare you. Is the job complete? Yes. Congratulations, you have once again proven yourself barely above minimum expectations. Guess we'll now have higher expectations for this location. <gasps> we got olive pants. Um, inventory. Pants. <gasps> Look at our pants. Our pants are amazing. Okay, we only have two active guests at the moment. We have six perfect reviews, guys. I think we're doing pretty darn good. Look at that, all our reviews are perfect. Okay, as much as I wanna just like keep playing this game with you guys, I gotta stop here for today. It, it's another like over hour of recording. Um, unlike the first episode though, I will be editing this a little bit. Um, obviously there are moments like we were waiting like overnight and stuff for things to happen. So this, this video will be edited, but uh, if you haven't seen uh, part one, go check that out for sure. Um, it is the first like hour and 10 minutes of the game completely unedited for your viewing pleasure so you know exactly what's going on in the first hour of the game um, so I do hope that you guys enjoyed watching if you did remember to like comment subscribe down below and as always I'll see you in the next one stay trashy bye guys